All right, everybody. Hello. Uh, my name is Galen. And Hello. this is John, also known as JTRO, and we're on the channel known as um, G Swizzle. Yes. Um, so this is a game called A Story About My Uncle, if you didn't notice. And uh, it's a very interesting game. I think I played a little bit, but uh, we'll just hop right in. I'll explain it a little bit as we go on, but um, from what like I can say about this, uh, it's like a physics platformer type thing. I don't know. Dad? Yeah, I think like that's the best way of explaining it. Yeah. Oops. Time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... Something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. I wonder what the story's gonna be about. Yeah, I, I don't know. When I was your age, uncle? I don't know. My biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures. Quality on the name. Road. One day, he disappeared. Dun dun dun. Oh, okay. All right. Frame rate going pretty well right, so yeah. far. The lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Yeah, I like how they have two copies of. Um, so that looks not like a mask. Just saying. <laughs> Why does he have a forensic science book? He's an he's an explorer. Not like I don't know. I mean, maybe he likes his forensics. I don't know. Maybe he explores books. Oh, oh where's yeah. the Steam logo? Steam logo. Steam like that. That's not a Steam oh, logo. No. Look Where up. is it? Look up. There, there it is. is. The Turn Steam valve. logo. Uh, uh, you're funny. Yay! All right. See you Mara. soon, of Mara. Oh, uh, um, flux ventilation. I don't know. Wait, what is what, that? What, yeah, what does what? it say there? Zoom in. Can That's you zoom as far in? As I can go. Um, right, HTTP dot, uh, YouTube, YouTube dot link. com. All right, we'll have to check this out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check this link. out later. All right. I'll link in the description later. Uh, a couple of things. When we played this earlier, by the way, the hell is a hell? Daddy's that's, helmet. That's Maybe that's a reference to Bioshock. Don't the know. Jet Cola. Let's <laughs> be confirmed. For real. And then, and then, and then. Our, f our favorite. Our the favorite. Best. A story about Meta my Meta uncle video Meta game. game. Oh. It's not a freaking Game Boy. That's raw, dude. Hey, look, it's a map. Go look at the map. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word. With a Hispanic a accent to him. A little bit. I just, I just realized that. that. Yeah. What is this? I, I really like how this game looks. Like, this is really good detail <laughs> so like, look at that, that detail i know i mean it's <laughs> chalk but oh hydraulic over what fantastic frederick's disposal system also knows the ftfds it runs off <laughs> where does it go <laughs> da oh it's dangerous for children price expensive <laughs> yeah you don't even know how <laughs> friendly <laughs> probably. probably we're Dispose not sure of anything yeah all right cool more math yeah all right Let's see, where's, where are you next? Oh, right over here. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which oh, usually was closed, I found something mm. I hadn't seen Not sure, before. actually. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used. It doesn't, every time I hear that line. Thank you, that's very Curiosity convenient. got the better of me, and I tried it on. Why? It fit like it had been custom made for me. That's... I don't know, man. That, that That's a little weird. <laughs> the most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. Where you there, can look at things. Ooh. Experiments. No falling. And right now, it held a <laughs> Falling is prohibited. Of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, Fast as print. I said, it prints a lot of stuff. I, Ooh, I wonder what it says. Child. Dear Freddy... The player uses the power jump with the instructed button on the screen. Uncle Fred. What? Fourth I, wall? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get Developers? Some, fourth wall? Developers on, notes. Click, click the thing. Click the, the thing. Pull the lever. There you go. All right. To the moon. Oh, fire extinguisher. Oh, boy. To oh, the boy. moon. Oh boy. Alright, let's go. Um, 
or first you have to have a spasm. Why is there any? Oh, I don't remember that. Okay, there we go. Why are the trash cans even here? You have a trash disposal pad, and there's still trash lying around. So wait, did you just fire yourself off the space with the disposal device? Yes, you basically just toss yourself in the trash can and shot yourself into space. I can believe that these are the same people that made Goat Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so if you want to know some behind the scenes stuff about this during the loading screen, uh, this game was made was released late May I think of this year. Uh, it was made by Gone North Studios and Coffee Stain Studios, and Coffee Stain, if you remember, is the same developer that made uh, um, Goat Simulator, that the ever popular the ever cult popular. classic, in which you are a goat and you crash. do everything. But thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. Those long full boots. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but. Back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going, or how I would get home. Alright, shift to run is pretty basic. Yeah, suit yeah you have to shift yourself, ground, basically. But not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Really? What is it with not being able to swim? Like, why can't they give you a suit that just helps you swim? Like, that would make a- oh god, don't you- oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's already a death. I'm so good at this. Oh, all God, right, no. all right, Galen. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, I'd rather not get back into this again. <laughs> See if I can not die until I at least get the grapple thing. That would be fan freaking tastic. Yeah, we had we had some issues with recording this earlier because of poor. Let's just say poor gaming comprehension. <laughs> Basically, I, I sucked. But this, it's a new day and a new recording oh, at no, 11 o'clock oh, no. at night. I'm sure right, that someone good. had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols. symbols. But who, where were they now? All right, yeah, you're going to want to. Channeling that William Shatner right there. Oh, Sputnik. Sputnik. Oh, I need to see if I can find those eggs again. Yeah, we're not really sure. Oh, yeah, I think the eggs are a part of the... Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Keep Oops. in mind, I've played I've played a portion of this game before. I think we, yeah, I think we I got, got like two this. thirds of the way through this game. Yeah, I feel like we got a decent way through this before uh, Oof, yeah. I got into showing you guys. Let's go this way this time. I didn't last time. I went the other way. I have not explored this portion of the map yet. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mm. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, oh, cool. I found I a small campsite before. where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place he have those instant noodles? With empty packages of his favorite hiking food. Instant noodles. And soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Uh, yeah, yes, instant noodles. <laughs> tube food, gross. though. Oh, well, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, mm. and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, <laughs> and all we ate was tube food. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, dude. Well. <laughs> My grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. Bet you did. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is also the same kid who's currently launching himself across infinite chasms. Yeah, this kid has a very decent, like a very good grasp of new technology. And very high brain plasticity. Oh, come on. Although he's also Wait, what? So yeah. This happened. Um, who wants to bet that you're probably not going to live? Bet, bet. Oh wait, well. Hmm. No, well, uh you are now one with the map. Hmm. Uh I don't know if I'm stuck. Yeah, I think you are. No no wait, I'm I'm cool. I might be able to make it off. Okay. Oh, hey, that's all right. <laughs> I do think you are one with the map now. I, I don't want to die, though. I want to make it. I, I want to be die. the very best. Like no, no one, one ever was. Oh. Change them is real test. To become part of the map is my cause. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, come on. Can I... Oh, okay, oh, whatever. All right, abort mission. <laughs> wow, dude, I'm just too pro. All right, Bloop. try this again. All right, not in the rock. We're good. Okay. 
Off to a fantastic start. <laughs> you are on the rock, not in the rock. Yes. Um. Oh, nuts. That worked out. I guess. Raw. Alright, yeah, these power cords. I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here. Okay, not again. Not again. Seriously, not again. That was like so many of my deaths. <laughs> it's gonna be just me bouncing off rocks. Because the, the, the game is nice in terms of like physics and stuff, but it can get really, really dumb. Yeah, the, one of the biggest issues with this game, I feel, is collision control. Because... There is no. If you would, if you were to ever use a grappling device to latch on to a rock face, you wouldn't bounce off of it. You would probably crash, your, crash into it full force, probably break a few bones, but you wouldn't grappling bounce off of it like a rubber body. Symbol everywhere. I yeah, like, like if you grab, I if you grab. Similar symbols oh, yeah. already there in the cave. Frog symbols. Getting yeah. More and more certain that this place was where. Fred had gone. No, but like if you grab on like in this game, like one of the, the things I don't like about it, maybe it's just me and my amazing gameplay. Uh is that crap. Is that uh it oh nuts, 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 nuts. Oh wow, you were hmm. Okay. I don't know why I landed on there. But like if you grab onto a curved face, then like, or if you, like, want, like, grapple yourself into a curved rock face, not, a, like, a straight like, ground or anything like that, like, you'll freak, oh, there's what I'm going, you'll, like, end up re rebounding yourself off into space, and it's the most ridiculous thing. Yeah, it's, know, like, it's right. pretty, it's pretty frustrating. Um, it's nice that they at least, like, give you an indication oh, of where what? to go. Okay. Hey, look, Sputnik. That was a really long launch, but, yeah. Hey, that. another collectible. So, yeah, if you ever, if you ever want to see where collectibles are, just uh, okay. Come on, grab the okay, like that. See, like I just grab myself into the thing. Let's try some of that midair. Okay, no. Yeah, it gets. It's got some pretty, pretty decent air controls, but like. Yeah, in order to compensate for the fact that you could bounce off into the stratosphere at any moment, oh, no. um, it gives you the ability to at least give you some control of yourself in the air. The problem is, is that usually that small amount of difference isn't enough to... Yeah, know. like sometimes it <laughs> saves you, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It's really... I don't know. Alright, where am I going here? Uh, uh, up. Hey, it's your favorite rock. Yep. Alright. Yeah, that's oh. good. Oh yeah! By the way, this play, this game actually, it does. It looks really, really good. <laughs> like, yeah, I was about was to say fantastic. that. Fantastic! By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly mm. long distances through the air at great speed. See, this this kid just doesn't care. He just goes. Oh, hello. Uh, so the power just went out. Yeah, it's been <laughs> storming like a motherfucker outside. Like it's freaking monsoon season in the middle of Illinois right now. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty intense. Oh yeah, by the way, grappling. Oh, there we go. Onto like a flat object like here, like it works fine. Like you're not gonna rebound at all if you hold it. Mm. But like once you get into oh nuts, that was a mistake. But like once you start grabbing onto like the sides of things, it, it gets kind of weird. Yeah. Where am I going here? Oh, there I'm going. Oh, oh yeah, what's up with your house, dude? So the power just went out for the second time in a row now. Okay. But, you know, the show must go on. Not like it matters, because you can't see my gorgeous mug. <laughs> okay. Nice to see that my router is so lovingly plugged into the, uh, the everything. The everything? Yeah, hang on. I gotta fix some network issues real quick. All right. Um, let me see where am I going? I guess still going up. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Grapple for safety. Yep. Okay, moving objects. Oh, you have to be careful. I killed myself a couple times because I caught I caught up to the rock. I did it too early. The 
I just realized this. Oh, nuts. Come on. I just realized this, but it's really nice that they give you an unlimited grapple. Like, it, they could just as easily say, like, oh, you only get, like, 10 seconds. Because, in all honesty, you don't really need that long. But it's actually really nice that they give you the ability to just hang on as long as you want. So if you do, like, miss your shot, sure, the grapple will automatically pull you towards whatever you're grabbing. But at least it gives you a little more leeway. You don't automatically, like, just drop into the abyss. Alright, yeah, especially in like, these rotating ones where you have to string a couple grabs together. Or later on, at least. When you have to string a couple grabs together. Okay, alright. You know that works too. Like, this does all the thing. Like, with their momentum, the momentum is kind of messed up. I mean, it's nice. Like, the physics are pretty decent. I've seen worse. Yeah. I've seen better. Well, yeah. But I've definitely seen worse. It's not awful. But, eh. It looks like, like the force electricity, you know? Okay, okay, no, we're good. Now, this game's really pretty. Yeah. I really, really like, enjoy the graphics of this game. Just wait until I get to, like, the main town and, like, into the later areas. It gets it gets really cool looking. Especially once you get into, like, the chasms and stuff. But, you know, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, haven't there. played this game before. Ooh. Please grab, thank you. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. If you grab onto, like, a curved area, then... It just swings it just, around. Yeah, it just swings you off into everything. And it's really, really annoying. Oh, wait, where am I going? Um, That's kind of another thing that I don't exactly like. It like, could just be me. Yeah. The, um, the checkpoints, oh, there it is. Yeah, the checkpoints usually give a good indication of what direction you're supposed to go. But sometimes after you've just died, you're not exactly facing the same way. Yeah, but I, I do like the whole mechanism of... Like, they still leave you to your own devices and getting around places, but, like, they leave those little markers mm -hmm. for, like, grapple points. It's not the only way that you get there, but it's definitely one of the ways. So, like, if you... Thank you. Why do I feel like I'm going backwards? Am I going the right way? I think you are. Oh, no, I'm right the way. I'm going the right way. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, like, that momentum was ridiculous. But no, I mean, it, it, the physics in this are decent enough. It's something to get used to, though, I think. Yeah, yeah it's it's definitely an acquired taste. And um, don't run off that. Yeah. I killed myself like that. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, you flat surfaces, Ooh. you're completely fine. Isn't it coming up? Yeah, right here was where you went into the skybox last time. Oh, yeah, I launched... Oh, okay, seriously, like that. I basically did that... I hit that front rock right there and launched myself up into the skybox. I can throw a clip in here. Yeah, we actually, we still have it. Um, we saved some, we archived some of our earlier takes on this. Yeah, so I'll, I'll toss that clip in there before you guys for my abundant viewership. Speaking of which, we are running on yeah. 21 minutes now. Alright. So yeah, I mean, in the whole grapple thing is really nice. Uh, I, I do like the whole, how they let you set, figure your own way around, but at the same time, if you can't figure it out, they definitely have a lot of helps to get you along your way. Alright, let's just do this. And... Down Boom. we go. And that'll be this episode. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like what I'm doing, I don't really care. Do your own thing. Who cares? Catch us whenever for our next Asamu yeah. or a story about my uncle recording. All right, so I will catch you guys later. Have a nice day.